News right out of the gate at 5 o'clock, an outbreak at the Animal Foundation. A dog is dead, and we're learning that more than a dozen others could be sick with a highly contagious infection. And this comes after workers had walked out of the shelter two weeks ago because of poor working conditions. Here's what else we know at 5 o'clock. According to the Animal Foundation, they were informed last Wednesday that the dog who had gone into foster care was showing symptoms of an upper respiratory illness. The dog was so sick, it had to be euthanized. Friday, test results came back positive for something called strep zoo. That's an upper respiratory infection that can cause hemorrhagic pneumonia in dogs. Fox 5's Maddie White live outside the Animal Foundation right now at the very latest on this. And Maddie, this is another blow to the already troubled shelter. Oh, absolutely. The crises just keep happening here at the Animal Foundation, John. And yes, I am live outside of the shelter right now where several dogs are being quarantined with respiratory symptoms. Now, the shelter tells us that they learned on Wednesday that a dog they'd fostered out had to be euthanized because it got so sick, euthanized at an offsite hospital. That dog, after being euthanized, uh, this test results came back showing two uh, respiratory illnesses that it was positive for. Those illnesses are strep zoo and canine pneumovirus. The shelter says strep zoo usually shows up when a dog's immune system is compromised, while canine pneumovirus is highly contagious. There's no vaccine, and dogs don't have natural immunity to it. Signs include coughing and nasal discharge and can even progress to pneumonia. The Animal Foundation says we immediately notified anyone who had left our facility with a dog who had likely been in contact with the sick dog. But one animal advocate we spoke to expressed frustration that they didn't tell the public last week about this. It's it's just wrong that they haven't told the public. And at least in that sense, people can be prepared. They could know what to do. They can call ahead to their vet. They can know not to go to the dog park. Local Animal Rescue Hearts Alive Village said on Facebook, if you picked up a dog from the Animal Foundation in the last couple of weeks, it would behoove you to treat that dog and resident dogs prophylactically with antibiotics. Please do not take them to public places, parks, dog parks, daycare, boarding, etc. Now, of course, we're told that the dogs they believe have been exposed are being quarantined. So this is obviously of grave concern, just learning that this sickness can really lead to severe symptoms, even leading uh, one dog now to have been euthanized. And of course, we're still waiting for the test results of the 17 dogs they say are experiencing those symptoms. So we'll continue following this. Uh, but John and Jacqueline, definitely a, a sad situation. And as you mentioned, Maddie, it's really important that anyone who recently adopted a dog, they keep their dog out of public places. Certainly, it's important to have some prevention right now. Thanks so much, Maddie.